Welcome, fellow beer friends, lovers of freedom across the world, wherever you are watching this program from. I welcome you to this amazing program. Today is the 7th of June, 2024. We have come once again, as we always do, to express our views on things that are happening in the contraption called Nigeria, mainly issues that have to do with the Biafran people. This platform, as you all know, is a platform that is supporting the Biafra Republic of Exile under the command of our Prime Minister Mazi Samon Epa and under the Supreme Command of Mazi Nandekan. In this platform, we bring information to your doorstep. We do not come here to instigate violence, neither do we come here to preach hate. What we do is to bring the truth out and to debunk every lie that has been told against the Biafra people. It does not matter who tells the lies. Once we spot a lie in you, against Biafrans, against our Prime Minister, against Mazen Nandekano, we are going to come here to the bunkers. And today, we want to look into a video that was made. Pay attention and listen to the Prime Minister of Biafra, Republic of Nazareth, Mazen Samonepa. He has a message. Listen carefully and let's watch. I welcome every one of you to this town hall meeting today. Um, like uh, the uh, rep have said, Today is not a day for speeches and long speech. And I must thank uh, the, uh, the Lazen officer of South Korea who have uh, just done, uh, issued an emotional uh, speech today. And uh, I want to tell you that uh, is, a, is a cry of joy, which uh, comes once in a while. My fellow beer friends, you can agree with me that the game has changed. For the past two years, just two years, since the formation of the government of Biafra in 2023, but prior to that, 2022, we've seen how the paradigm was shifting how God was busy, you know, arranging the Biafra government to become what it is today. In all the adversities, in all the propagandas, in all the blackmails and attacks, we remain very resolute. And the kudos goes to all of you that has made this particular day possible. Every one of you who believed in what I was doing and saying today, everything that we have done, the credit goes to God first and then to all of you. Without you, it is not possible. Simon Ekpa cannot do magic. It is with your support that we have been able to achieve what we have achieved today. The foundation that we have laid, which is bringing Biafra. I want you to understand that forget whatever that is going on on social media, forget whatever that the Nigeria terrorist states are saying on social media and behaving on their National Assembly, they know that the game is over. Mm. I am telling you the fact, the Northern Nigeria know that the game is over. I know what is going on within them. Mm. The presidency of Nigeria know that the game is over. The Senate President Akpabio knows that the game is over. The only people that do not know, or maybe they are just skeptical, are the gullible one Nigerians who are believing in the Nigerian terrorist army that they have the capability to eliminate Biafrans. France. Don't know that they actually lost the war already before the war started. And you know, every one of you may remember how we started. We first we showed few of the Biafra forces with our first ever acquired anti-aircraft gun. 
when the video surfaced on social media, a lot of people say, ah, oh, oh, is this what you want to go and use to face Nigeria government? Is this what you want to go to use to face Nigeria army? It was like, what a joke. We were laughing. But what they don't know was even before that first video of the Biafra Liberation Army was posted, where they were sitting around anti aircraft, Nigeria have been taught a lesson. And then, fast forward, we started showing small, small videos of how the Biafra Defense Forces are neutralizing the criminals and terrorists in our land, who only thing they do is come and kill innocent women and children, burn their community, burn market, destroy our properties. And they thought it was just a propaganda. Because you know, Biafra freedom or agitation in those days were all about propaganda. They do not uh, believe that there is going to be something reality, realistic. They do photoshopping, they do video shopping, and that was the reason. If you listen to the has passed for I called Tony Nadi that was carrying file everywhere, everywhere. Mm. He was calling IPOB photoshopping organization that Simon Ekpa in Finland was the one doing the photoshopping for them. I don't know. I don't know whether you people come across the video where he was saying that the one Simon Ekpa in Finland is the one who is doing photoshopping. <laughs> Fast forward again. We started talking about the Biafra Convention, first ever convention in Finland in 2003. When that time came, the ticket was $150 per person. They started propaganda. Oh, you are paying to go to Finland to do convention. You are paying to go to Finland to do referendum. They were even calling it referendum. Even when we never mentioned referendum, what we said it was Finland Convention, where referendum, possible referendum, will be discussed, and not just possible referendum. It was very specific where possible Biafra self referendum will be discussed. It was like a joke. At the end of the day, Biafrans were in Finland, and the video were everywhere. And yet, they were abusing those who came. They say, "Look at, look at everybody, men. They are following this small boy. Look at, you know, they try to make a joke, but they know within themselves they can't swallow that joke. It is too big to swallow." In Finland, we adopted the Biafra Charter as if it was a joke. In Finland, we unveiled the Biafra Liberation Army as if it was a joke. In Finland, we went into official alliance with Ambazonia as if it was a joke. We have the Ambazonia uh, uh, Biafra Finland declaration. It was a joke. In Finland, we also voted for the Helsinki declaration, which is part of the Biafra chapter. They thought it was a joke. But you know one thing, in all these jokes and propaganda on social media, the Nigeria government was not relenting. Even them didn't believe that today will come. So, but I was busy trying to distract them with all manner of tricks, which works very well. From social media dancing, to attacking everybody who attacked me, to using every word that I can use, you know, because they think that when you wear a suit, you are a gentleman. But what I don't know is that I know the difference between gentlemen and fighting a deadly country like Nigeria. So, some people say that I have shrine in my house. I agree. They say, oh, uh, they say I do juju abakale. They say I am abakale juju. I agree. But you know what I promised them? I said I will abakale everybody to be for land. But for sure. Them. How many of you remember? We do, we, we do, we do. Yeah. Of all told them that when I come to do program, I use so I put something in the mouth. I say, go and do your own. Put it in the mouth. And let us. <laughs> all right. So I just want to do something different today. 
so that people understand how far we've come. AGL4 promised Nigeria government that he was in charge of IPOB, which was true. AGL4 promised them that immediately he hand over Mazenam Dikano to them, he will control everything and Biafra is dead. AGL4 single-handedly promised Nigeria government this. In return, to become the second Allen Onyema. So, all these things I have seen. But you know, there are some certain evidences I am not going to bring to the public. Otherwise, there will not be sources. So, a GO4 used his own mouth to expose himself. Now, I told you people that the Jofo, <laughs> apart from the mirror that is right here, we are not can be. The Jofo told them <laughs> that uh, after he killed cows, many cows in Orifte and other places he's going, that he will come to make pro broadcast. After that broadcast, that everybody would desert Simon Ekpa. Ejiofo went and killed the cows. He was naked, doing all the things he did. I have all of them. Now, Ejiofo <laughs> was bragging on social media to the IPOB Nigeria Limited Criminals. He told them, don't worry, I am coming. How many of you remember when he said, it is going to be the murder of all the broadcasts? Yes. That after that, only you see the Afozo. Only you see the Gagije. How many of you remember? No, we remember. No, we remember. Right. No, no, exactly no, what I'm saying now is what he uh, said. Yeah. Yes. You because see him? They told him after that sacrifice, Simon Ekpa is gone. And what they don't know is that even the Dibia that is doing Juju for him, I have put him somewhere. <laughs> And the Biafra government have relocated the same Dibia <laughs> to save him from the hand of a job. Okay. <laughs> so, and I'm, I'm saying this for the very first time on social media, so he know that the man is very, very safe. Wonderful. So, they promise him that uh, once he go out, he go, just go there. So when Ekpa is gone, I was laughing. I told the job for, just go. That will be your end. And if you remember when he said that exposition that is coming to do with the mother of them all, I say, come. That will be your end. And all of you remember when I started warning him, the first day he praised the idiot. That was the first day I warned him. I will be your end. And at the end of the day, Jofo came to social media and they are ready to started shouting. Ah, after that exposition, that was the end of a job. Yeah. I told him also that he will be the, I will be the end that he will never represent Mazen Amdikan because he was the one who broke into Nigeria. When I was saying all these things, many people that are blind don't understand. But at the end of the day, where is the job today? The job is gone. Mazen Amdikan was sacked. Even when he was sacked, I came to social media to inform Biafra before anybody that this man has been sacked. How many of you remember? As, oh, you remember. as I was saying it, they were still busy posting his picture, Amazon Amdekan, for weeks before anybody announced that the four is no longer with Amazon Amdekan. I have announced it many times. Well, you know, when I announce it now, they want to change the clock. They want to change the time. But it is not, not going to be changed. It does not matter how long it takes, it will still happen. Yes. I have called this Akuna, the ex. Mark my word. That will be the end result. Now, they have stopped the lawyers from visiting Mazen America. Have you all hear me on social media making comment about it? No. 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 That is the reason. No, 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 no. That is the reason. And I will not reveal the reason yet. 
Oh, that you, know, you know that before, each time they will say, oh, they did not allow them to go to Mazinam I will come and issue sit at home. Or one or two things. Or do one or two things. Before you know it, they will give them access to meet Mazinam Right? And yes. at, the end, at the end of the day, yes, yes, yes. at the end of the day, the siblings, the one they call Kano Takano, will be on the one, will be the one on the street that will attack me. After the lawyer must have succeeded to see Mazinam But you know, my silent is for his best interest and for the freedom of the Afro people. And I know that this comment will cause a lot of fire on social media. But that is actually the reason why I'm making it. I keep quiet for a, for a reason which is for the best interest of this struggle and for the best interest of Mazen and Dekan. And when it is the right time, if they continue to deny access to the lawyers, when the time comes, I will, I will make my comments. And I also know that after this speech today, maybe, just maybe, they will give them access to see Mazen and Dekan. But I know it is going to be very difficult. Because the people that have denied the lawyer's access to Mazen and Dekan is the Jofo and the wife, the yes, ex-wife. Yes. Mark my word. It's right, yeah. it's correct, it's correct. This is the two person that have denied the access. And let me also tell you that since after that court, did you see them on social media again? No. Apart from the yeah. CCTV, apart from the CCTV camera which I talked about, she disappeared. <laughs> but that is not the reason. The reason is that when she went to Abuja, she wanted to know whether Mazenam Dikano is sound health wise. And she found out that he was sound. And that was where the entire head get loose. So you see when they tell you that when court is coming, Simon Ekpa will start talking. It's exactly what they are doing. Now I have kept quiet and I want you people to observe when the court is coming closer. You will see them all over social media. You will see the, that ex-wife, Akuna. You will see her shouting. You know the reason I'm calling her? I don't call Akuna for no, for no reason. You know, you know, the dignity is gone. Because she, she knows that I am not saying these things, that there is something that I know. But the only, only worry is how much information do I have? That is her <laughs> biggest problem. Not only her, and the Geoffo too. She was bedding, um, uh, um, uh, what is the name, uh, Asari. That, that was the for, actually the first person and two of them, when Asari began to do anyhow, they somehow stopped. But Ifan Yoba and the Jofo was dragging this apple. <laughs> the other one I want to know is, is it is like, even if Akpabio today want, he go collect. Is there, just, just, just promise her that you will deal with Mazen and the that is your fee. And uh, <laughs> I said that what I'm going to say here today is different. Fast forward, my fellow Biafrans, the Biafra government has broken record. And you all know that the uh, Biafra liberation is with four different approach. The political approach, diplomatic approach, the armed struggle approach, the self-defense, and the civil disobedience approach. This is for approach Nigeria can never survive it. And today, Biafra, for the very first time, this month, will be playing an international tournament. And Biafra will be represented official Biafra football team. Not Biafra football club, Biafra football national team. Oh, my God, yeah. 
But one thing, but one thing you must know. Thank you, thank you. But one thing, one thing you must understand is that. The Afra government have spent money. That's why when we started the fundraising, you know, a lot of propaganda came. But you know, we are focused. It does not matter what you what you think, what you say, because we know what we're doing. Everything involves money. You know the cost of pulling a national team to an international tournament, and they will be playing for days. They will be playing many, many teams for days. You know what that means? Invest money. Massive. Well, we, have the, well, we have done it. Massive. I want you to understand what, what we are doing. We have done it. Even Nigeria, the terrorist Nigeria, cannot send national team to any tournament without, you know, ups and downs with their entire billions of dollars. The Afra government is sending a national team. First ever international competition that will be played for days. I want you to understand, he's sending a team, he's sending a team manager, he's sending a, a coach, sending the entire team, putting them in a hotel, feeding them, and they will play match and tournament for many days in a Western world. Calculate it, you know, you know, you know what it means. As this is happening, we are fighting a war that one bullet can cost up to three thousand to five hundred thousand uh, naira. Five hundred thousand, yes, up to three five from three five to one bullet five hundred k. You know when you see this our uh, men carrying weapons to defend our land, you think why would they are defending? You think is a is a one naira bullet? One bullet RPG can cost up to five hundred thousand for one that is what this government has sustained you see why they are telling you that that the cia is supporting simon Epa. you see why they are telling you that simon Epa is agent of europe you see why they are telling you that this is not from this fundraising but that is our secret Hi. power I just want to I just want to give you people small tip of the iPad. Now we are having a convention in Finland. Do you know the cost of this convention? When they see the that uh, the, the event ticket is three hundred per person. Do you know the cost of this event for five days? Do you think that three hundred uh, dollar a person for five days is going to feed the bills of this convention? The answer is no. The answer is no. You're going to stay in a hotel, even though there, there was a hotel mentioned there. You're going to stay in a hotel. You're going to feed. There's going to be there's going to be a payment of the of the hall. There's going to be a lot of payment. Do you think that that amount would pay the bill? Is that you can pay it? But you know what? The government is putting that, and that's why we have raised. We have done one fundraising. For this particular convention in finland and that was last time and another one is today after this program this evening we're having emergency fundraising for finland convention as this is happening we are also trying to keep hundred over hundred thousand men and that's why when we post the video you it, we have to post video of people looking good we have to post video of people with kit not everybody have kit as it is now but you know what? Aka drum has the money way. That is the most important thing. But I wish, I wish, I wish.
I wish. I wish that the Biafra government will have every resources it need to keep our army from the first to the last. And then they will see men. In fact, if Nigeria will, will break down that day. He said, but we are getting coming. there. I we are getting there. Never. We are getting there. You know, the, the, they say that they, they release a report. That's what the Nigeria IPOB, the criminals are using to do propaganda. They made a report. They say they were in our fundraising. And they were analyzing how the Afra government is raising funds. And they were making this propaganda. They said, we did not even know that they were in our fundraising. And I look at these people, I was like, is this really a human being? A fundraising that is open to everybody, including people that are coming naked in our in the fundraising. The fundraising that is open to the whole world to see. If you do not come inside, go to our page and watch it. Exactly. Somebody will tell you they did not even know that somebody is in the fundraising. Is it, is it not a stupidity? The highest order? Anyway, so what am I trying to say? I just want you to understand that like I said, if this government has one quarter, EK house no one quarter of what IPOB have raised for the past 12 years. Believe me, by now Asorok will be on fire. Now me go buy the thing where we will take go bomb them. Because these are the that is where the terrorist attack against the entire Nigeria, indigenous people in Nigeria is being orchestrated. And that place needed to go down. Only only luck is that ah, only luck is that I don't have access to many things. No. Or don't want to be getting there. Because by now, believe me, there will be no terrorists in the entire region. And that's what Biafra is going to do. You think what Israel is doing? Israel will learn work now. <laughs> we will restore peace, stability, and sanity. We will bombard those terrorists until none even what not even their sponsor will remain. That's the kind of region we want to bring by the emergence of Biafra. And who will not support that? You know how many years this government have planned the terrorist attack that are supervising the killing and the death of innocent indigenous people in Nigeria? I think it is started today. Yes. They had what they call Abuja Declaration of 1989. How many people are talking about it? They will go and read go to school and then all they do is to plan how to enter national assembly to spend that money how to get appointment by the governor one governor appoint you you will start celebrating instead of you to go and start working how to serve the people you will start celebrating that they have appointed you a commission abuja declaration of 1989 was to islamize nigeria to remove every person that is not a muslim from every strategic position and install muslims into strategic position it did not only happen in Nigeria. It has happened in West Africa. It has happened in ECOWAS. It has happened in AU. They have hijacked everywhere. Go to AU today. The people in you Nigeria, they, you cannot see any single Christian there. That is the result of Abuja Declaration of 1989. But all these intellectuals are not talking about it. If you tell them, they tell you, you know what they do these days? When you see they come to social media comments, some never stop stop killing your people. They think that when they say that we're going to run away. They don't know that those they are nonsense program. It end on social media. In, in fact, if I don't delete it, it end there. Nobody will listen to you. Everybody have come to understand that you are a criminal and you are a terrorist country. And that's why we are going to do everything to defend our land. I hear them saying nobody will say what I have said and police will break his door in the next 30 minutes. Because you don't know your right, you are mum. You are an illiterate that doesn't know anything about freedom fighting. You don't know your right. So how can you not say something like that? I know my right. And when I was telling them, for example, you don't know my profession, you don't know my job. You have used propaganda to block your sense of reasoning. You don't even know what I do for a living. 
You don't even know what I was doing for a living. You don't know what I'm doing for. You don't know nothing about me, because many of you is that it's just one put that in Finland. It's just one one put that here. You don't know anything about me. So why would you not be shocked with my activities, our activism? You'll be shocked because you know nothing about me. You have allowed them to use propaganda to finish you. So I know international law. I know what is the law of self-defense. And I know how to fight for freedom. That was why I told this idiot, go and sleep. Let us, let me drag you to freedom. I will drag you, all of you, from Akpabio to um, David Dumahi to whatever. I will drag you, all of you, to Biafra land. And then, a world of Tarepeka sooner. <laughs> it is going to happen. Go and mark my, go and mark my word. Go and mark my word. I will drag all of them from A to Z into Biafra, and they know it is happening already. And then after that, I think as you now, who will We can settle our differences. So I just want every one of you to understand the reason why we, the Biafra government, focus on this fund. To make sure that we execute everything that we have that will make us to be recognized as a as a, as a state first of all you have to meet this requirement to recognize the state now we have embarked on the project for the id card national id card which has met the european standard it involves money that that cost about hundreds of thousands of euros yeah. we have done it although we are still we still have a lot of due to to food in that regard. We have also embarked on the passport, on the Biafra passport, and we are looking forward to see the specimen of the passport in Finland. And our target is that, you know, how many, a lot of, hundreds of people have applied for the Biafra ID card. Everybody who apply, we collect their passport, their ID card in Finland. And then you can compare your national ID card where you live and the Biafra national ID card. You can compare the two and they see how far we have gone. That is what we are trying to build the integrity of this government. So that you will, not, you will not be treated like a Nigeria that represents fraud and scam. My fellow Biafrans, when you see our men holding stick, it costs money. Yes. It and costs money. And this stick is spread across Biafra land. Where you are not hearing noise now is because we don't want to activate that place. So everything is planned. And we must not be kind of say, the Afra liberation will start from Olo. You see them fighting against it. They tell you, why is it Olo is Biafra land? Is it, why are the Nigeria government there? Why are they in Olo? Why is it that Hope Zodema was installed from fourth position to the first position? Why only in Imo State? <laughs> Why why can't they do that in Ebony? Why that can't they do that in Anambara? Why can't they do that in other parts of Biafra land? Why Imo State? Why is nobody asking that question? Now, <laughs> Oti from uh, um, uh, um, what is his name? What is their party name? Say? Abia. Huh? Abia. No, 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 no. The party Abia. name now. Labor Party. Uh -huh. Oti. Oti. Oti is a governor. Why didn't they use another person from APC use court to install another person. Why? Everything is spiritual. I don't understand. You will never understand. There is a reason for the target being in the state. That's why many of you don't know history. You need to go and read history. Especially the history of Biafra war. The reason why they are dividing us without the consent of the people is so that what led to the Biafra war, the Biafra people will not rise up again. Not rising up as in fighting for freedom, but rise up again to defend our dignity, our culture, and way of life. And to begin to prosper and compete with Committee of Nations. That is the only reason. It is not for your development. It is not so that you are going to have good growth. It is not so that you are going to have a good hospital. It is not so that when your pregnant uh, wife goes to hospital, they will give her all treatment free of charge. Oh, no. have that changed anything? The answer is no. Rather, it is only so that your strength will be weakened. They will weaken your strength, weaken your power, and deal with you. But today, we are here. And you know, nobody is losing anything. 
Yes. What what are you, what are you going to lose? What have you not lost? Nobody is losing anything. Not me. Not you. Forget all this uh, nonsense. Uh, you know, imaginary uh, issue. Imaginary unkobi. Imaginary uh, house somewhere. Imaginary business. It is nonsense. You can wake up one morning. Everything is gone. There is no guarantee. There is no insurance that you are going to get compensation. Do you understand me? So we are trying to give you a better future, a better alternative, where if something happened to you, you have a hope. There's going to be a compensation from the insurance company or national insurance camp. There's going to be a second chance. But in Nigeria, with all these people that are doing uh, motor parts business, and when you talk about uh, Abiafra, they will want to look at how much they are making. It is not guaranteed. That's how much you are making that make you not to fight for Biafra will disappear one money and nobody will come for you. They have done it in Lagos. I want you to I want you to go and ask yourself a question. Those people that their businesses were born in Lagos, what is happening to them now? What is their situation? Have you ever asked yourself yourself that question? Those people that were shouting obi 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 and they went and started voting in Lagos that you know necessitated their killings and burning of their property. Go and ask question. Those in Lagos, what is happening to what, how are they feeding now? Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> because there is no way. Oh, many of them now are useless. Many of them now are going to do osa here. They will go to the market where they know somebody and they will stand there and then uh you know they will do osa here. Another way is that because we know in our 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 culture, we that is what we call extended family. There is no other place in the world that does extended family help like us Biafra people. So what are they going to do? They will run down to village. The village people that they have discarded, village people that many of them did not even try to call them, they will go back to village and village people are going to sell their land and raise money. That's who we are. If you do not have the village people that can do that, your siblings, your relative, they will sell their land and give you money again to go back. So many of them today that are back in Lagos doing business, they have went, they went back home to sell land. I am telling you the fact. But apart from that, if you are not from Biafra, you are gone. And not many Biafrans can actually do that because the, the religion have destroyed families today where everybody is your enemy. You go to, to this person, they tell you this person went to Juju because of you and then you start creating an enmity. When you have a problem, you can't go back person because already you have this kind of thing in mind that the person is after your life when it is actually not true so but in biafra we're going to correct all those nonsense my fellow yeah. biafrans the finland convention is happening in the next 28 days everybody will be in finland over 500 biafrans will be in finland up to 1000 will be in finland for this convention i am talking about confirmed people that are coming so i will be looking forward to see many of you and we are going to make this history together i also want to confirm to you today that not only that their friends are going to come we are going to have dignitaries that will embrace this particular condition policy makers people that speak and the government listing i am talking about big fishes that will be in this convention to stay with Biafra and to validate the Biafra convention and whatever that we're going to do there. Mm -hmm. And those people that are waiting that uh, December 2nd, we're going to start shooting gun. No, 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 no. We're not going to shoot any gun. The gun where we are shooting now is already what we are. We are not going to change from this gun we are shooting now to defend our land. Rather, the defense of Biafra land will enter part two. But what are we going to gain from this convention? What we are going to gain is that every document that we are going to generate from this convention become legal document that we'll be using for the political approach and diplomatic approach for the biafra independence and recognition this document will be sent to the united nations this document will be sent to the U to the u.s u.s department of state u.s or every department that foreign uh, department the uh, the congress and all that we have it. european union and every other region that we feel that needed to have to support Biafra and the UN. That's where the whole thing is going to start. Only then 
Biafra will have a name. Now, it is only noise we are making. And Nigeria have understood this very well. They know where I'm going. And that's why, and that's why they are restless. But I'm watching them and uh, they are having problem with going to India. <laughs> I am telling you the fact. But I want, uh, I want them to go to that India. Because I can watch them. I was watching them. And they were having issue whether to go or not to go. But uh, like I promise Akpavio, he will go to that oh. India. But if he go, he should tell the Juju to build a house for him because he don't have a house. Thank you very much, everyone. They were. I thank God for the Prime Minister Mazi Samuel, the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of Biafra. Biafra people are going to defend themselves. If it's going to take everyone out to defend Biafra, we will do that till the last man standing. May Chukwu Kukabiyama continue to guide our Prime Minister Mazi Samuel Eba. May Chukwu Kukabiyama continue to guide our Liberation Army. Biafra government, peace, progress, unity and equity. We move. Airborne. Thank you, as they say.